First things first, there's the little knuckle. So I'm probably gonna have to pop that off first. So just gonna take a screwdriver. There we go. So that frees up that, that arm there. Let's get that off of there. Free this part up. And it looks like there's some bolts. Yep. For now I'm just loosening up all the bolts holding the carburetor. There we go. There we go. Alright. So now I think it's just the uh, choke connection point and the hose of course. So let's disconnect that hose first. Unless this just whole thing comes out. It's that whole... Oh! Alright, well, simple as that. Looks like these uh, gaskets are cracking and falling apart. I'll definitely be replacing those. Well, that was actually easier than I thought it'd be. Now the part from here, I'm going to be taking apart each uh, individual carburetor, cleaning it really well, and putting in new seats and new needles. We're going to try doing this. First time ever for me doing a uh, carb rebuild, repair, whatever. Got my carb cleaner spray. I'm going to take the bowls off. I also got these repair kits. It has the different washers and gaskets and all that, and the needle and the needle seat. Let's take these bowls off. I'm just gonna do one at a time. So we'll start with the easiest one, this top one. Oh, and I also got safety glasses, so I don't get any carb cleaner in my eye or anything. There we go. All right, yep, that's completely garbage. Washer here can be replaced as well. So let's see if the kit has one that size. Hopefully I got the right kit. Well, it's a little bit of a different size. That's not a good sign. None of these fit. There we go. Looks like the kit comes with a new pin. And the new pin is slightly short. Let's see. There's the needle. The needle just popped out there. Ah, the needle looks different too. I'm starting to get worried that I didn't get the right repair kits here. See, I think this is the wrong repair kit. Parts look to be a, a bit different, so. Yeah, this is the wrong kit, because look, this doesn't fit either. It's a completely different size. Looks like I'm gonna have to figure out what the right kit is. All right, I'm back. I'm back and I have the right repair kits, finally. I returned those general repair kits to Amazon. I bought these three repair kits. These are the original OEM repair kit that came with the engine. So it comes with one gasket and some assorted bits. Tiny, tiny little rubber cylindrical piece in there that goes where the needle goes. And that's the most important piece I'm gonna be replacing. So I should hopefully have the right pieces now. <laughs> so when we last left off, so first repair kit, here we go. The needle looks to match exactly. So that's good, so brand new needle there. New one of these before and after. This right there is the piece that I took out. That little thing was all cracking and messed up before and it goes goes in this hole right here this is going to be really tricky because there's a little metal washer thing there's one of those holding it in there and i don't know how i'm going to get that out <laughs> that thing's tiny i'd almost need like a hook like a little dental tool to kind of scrape it out of there the thing is i don't have anything like that yeah i don't think i can get this past that either because it's like the perfect width. Yeah, it'd be really difficult to get, but it's it's meant to hold it in there. All right, so I'm pretty proud of myself. I just made this tiny little tool and it worked. I got that tiny little metal piece out. So yeah, the needle actually goes up against that. It's like a little rubber piece and that's what stops and lets in gas. So this piece is actually pretty important and it was cracking and all messed up before so just swapped out that little tiny little piece in the middle bowl so the original ones were green for some reason as you can see it's all like torn up so oh yeah <laughs> that's the worst one by far there you go so now you can see what I'm seeing so that green that green thing down there supposed to be supposed to be a hole in the center it's not supposed to look like that. Let's just put it that way. So I've been digging that piece out. See how that just falls apart? 
Yeah, that's how you know it's it's disintegrated. So that's the main reason it gets it's getting way too much fuel. Let's, let's swap that one out real quick. So a trick I just figured out in case you're doing this on your own is um, once you get the old crappy one out and you take out this little this little clip thing like that. Once you take that little clip out, you put the new little rubber thing in there. Make sure it's flat, it's lined up. Put the clip back in the top and use the old needle to actually equally put that clip down into the hole. And once you get it to the very bottom, you'll be able to actually feel the springiness. You can actually look in there and see, but if you're like, oh, I'm not sure if it's down far enough, you'll feel the springiness of the needle making contact with that rubber. And that's how you know it's, it's down there all the way. Now that all three uh, seats are swapped out, Hey, look at that. So I actually had to refer back to the photo of the spring I took. Even though it felt like I got it in there right, I noticed it wasn't contacting well. So I actually had to swap it around or flip it upside down and now it's in there correctly. It's still spongy, which is good, and it should be set up correctly. So now I'm gonna replace this piece around this lip here and just kind of press it into place. That cork seal. Now I'll screw the bolt back on. All right, one down. Let's do the other two, and I'll kind of skip ahead. You kind of have something leaking right here. You see that? Yeah. Maybe I just need to tighten that one a little more. So I might just need to tighten that bottom one. So if you just want to do that when I try to turn it on a little bit, see if you can get it to start. Yeah, I wonder why it was spitting. That's also the bowl that's leaking, so maybe that's why. 